<laughs> Good morning, we are here with Christopher Aloisio and we would like to ask him about these two days of Congress and the perspective of Together for Europe 2016. Yes, the, these two days of Congress have been uh, days of um, deepening of our communion uh, between the movements. It was a, a moment of recollection within the, the, the big family, the, the, this fellowship of movements which we are. Uh, the moment which we'll, we will live in a few minutes now in, uh, uh, in the square, uh, on the square of uh, Karlplatz is totally different because it's um, our witness towards the world, towards the society. And it's another kind of uh, activity, I would say, because it's not anymore about uh, trying to exchange between ourselves what we share, etc., but to convey to the world uh, uh, our joy, to, to express what makes us people of hope, even in situations where the world can be hopeless. And that is something which can be of great interest for the, the world today. That could be a service of the Christians today to the world, not to appear as people who lecture the society, but as people who can witness that in front of despair, we remain people of hope. One last question. In a few days, you'll be back home to your community. What will you bring to your community from this experience of Together for Europe? Um, what I see in every, uh, every occasion when we meet as Together for Europe is uh, the richness of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that is something which uh, for years and years I've discovered every time and I'm always uh, in admiration uh, about the, the, the work of God in us, in the movements, in the people, and uh, that is something which is everlasting, an everlasting joy of uh, discovery of the diversity of the fruit of the Spirit. Thank you very much.